Hello, what's up? Welcome back to our corner and this is Ali. On this video, we'll share how we can safely update our PS4 on a specific firmware. This is very important since updating the PS4 is something that we can't just easily reverse and a simple difference in version can definitely mean a lot. That is the reason why some players simply want to stay on their version then risk updating to a different version. On this video, we'll show you how we can safely update to a specific version, something that you can also use when choosing a jailbreak version for your PS4. Now let us go ahead and take this question as an example. He was on 6.70 and asking what is his best option for jailbreak. The best option we have is always choose the nearest version that is jailbreakable. On his case, that is 6.72. Though personally, I came from 6.72 and uh, updated to 9.0 since I prefer stability. But on 6.72, you don't need a USB to activate the jailbreak, which is more convenient. And if you are on a lower firmware, you always have the option to either stay or update to a higher version of jailbreak. On this video, we will also need an external hard drive or a USB thumb drive to use to update our PS4 and the update file itself. You can find the link on our description for this amazing collection of firmwares from Dark Software. Here you can find every firmware versions you can use for your PS4. Now going back to our case, if you want to update to any firmware, say for example 6.72, all you have to do is just simply look for the version here. This is 6.72, the regular update file. And this is 6.72, the reinstallation file. The difference between these two update files is you can use the regular update file for regular updates. And you will need the reinstallation file in case your PS4 was not able to boot normally. You will also need the reinstallation file if you want to change or upgrade your hard drive. But on a regular basis, all you need is a regular update file. Now let's say for example you want to update to 6.72. So simply click on this part, this will download the update file and uh, of course you want to make sure that you have the exact file before you install that to your PS4. To do that we need to get to a website where we can check the ID of the update file. This is the official MD5 or the official ID of the update of 6.72. So if you want to make sure that you have the exact update file, you'll just have to compare the MD5 of your downloaded file to the official MD5 of the firmware version that you want to install. And to check that, go to this website, take the file that you have just downloaded, and drag and drop it here. Now this is the MD5 or the ID of the update file that you have just downloaded. Now compare this to the official MD5 of the 6.72 or the file that you want to install on your PS4. You see that the file that we have just downloaded matches the MD5 of the official 6.72. That means that if we install this to our PS4, we can definitely make sure that we are updating it to 6.72. And since I am on 9.0 and we can update to a lower firmware, I can only update to 9.0 or any higher firmware. Now for the benefit of this video, I will go ahead and download the update file for the 9.0 and show you how to update our PS4. I will also use the reinstallation file since I will be updating my hard drive later. So for the reinstallation file, this is definitely what I need. 9.0 and the one that has 1000 MB or 1 gig size. So you have to be very careful on what to install on your PS4 as well. Not just the update version, but the type of the update file itself. Because if you install a reinstallation file, it will reformat your PS4. So if you need the regular update file, make sure that you download the regular update file for the right version that you need. Now I will go ahead and download this. Now after downloading, I will go ahead and drag and drop my downloaded update file on this part. It will scan the MD5 or the ID of the update file. Now let us go ahead and compare this to the official MD5 of the update file that we need. You see that this perfectly matches the official MD5 of the reinstallation file of the 9.0. Now I can go ahead and install this to my PS4 and make sure that I will be installing the right firmware on my PS4. 
and to install this on our PS4, we're going to need a USB thumb drive or an external hard drive formatted with either XFAT or FAT32. Now on the root of our hard drive, create a new folder and name it PS4, all capitalized. And inside this folder, create another folder and name it update. Now it seems that I already have an update file here. Let me go ahead and check the version of this update file. This one doesn't match the official MD5 of the 9.0, so I need to replace that to make sure that I won't be installing a wrong version. So I'll go ahead and delete this. And transfer here the update file that we are going to install on our PS4. And for the file name, it has to be exactly ps4update.pup. Now we can go ahead and install this to our PS4, but I'll go ahead and have a double check before I install this on my PS4 to make sure that I have indeed the right firmware that I need. Alright, so this is the one that we need. Now we can go ahead and use this update file to update our PS4 to 9.0. And now to update our PS4, we can either go to the settings, then system software update, and your PS4 will detect the update file saved in your storage. Now my PS4 is not detecting the update file because what I have is the reinstallation file for 9.0. To install a reinstallation file, you have to do that on the safe mode. But I have prepared a different update file on a different storage. Now if I go ahead and use this, it will simply detect the update file. Now all you have to do is just click on next and follow the whole process. But for now, let us go ahead and show you how we can update our PS4 using the REST mode. I will also go ahead and use the reinstallation file for the 9.0. To go to the REST mode, first turn off your PS4. Next is press and hold the power button until you hear the second beep. Then release. From here, you're going to need a data cable to connect your DualShock 4 to your PS4. In case you are not able to connect your PS4 using your data cable, that means that what you have is not a data cable but a simple charging cable. What you need to connect your DS4 to your PS4 here on the safe mode is a data cable. Now once you have the data cable, just press the PS button. You will get to this part and simply choose the option 3 update system software and option 1 update from USB storage device then press OK now if I continue from here since what I have is the reinstallation firmware after installing this my PS4 will reinitialize and will be brought back to its factory settings now should you encounter this case where you boot up your PS4 and your PS4 is asking for a reinstallation firmware you can also follow this process to update your PS4 back to its normal state. Now from here, all you have to do is just simply follow the whole process to update your PS4. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will gladly address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.